Hi, welcome back to my staff pad one week update. You can follow along with that red rectangle in the uh, upper left hand corner uh, with what I'm transcribing inside of staff pad there. Um, so yeah, I want to upgrade my recommendation from being initially wildly frustrated and pissed off to now being mildly enthusiastic about this app. I uh, watched a good tutorial and I learned some good tips. Okay, if you want to find that tutorial, just go to YouTube and search for Discover Staff Pad Writing Music. All right, I watched that six minute tutorial and I learned a lot. The first thing being only use slash marks to notate the note heads. In, the, in my first video, I was using full on bubbles, you know, like a normal person would use to write music notes. And you don't need to do that in staff pad. And I, I, in fact, I think it confuses it. If you just use little slash marks like I'm doing in the video right now, um, you see how I did an S and a seven that gives you the rests. If you just do slash marks, you'll get the note heads. Um, and the second tip is in the first round, when you're entering stuff, only enter notes, stems, and beams. Don't draw any accidentals, sharps or flats or slur marks or anything, even ties. Uh, I think kind of you're okay with ties, but really try to keep it to notes, stems, and beams on the first round. Save any articulations or sharps and flats after it's already recognized your handwriting, okay? And you can force it to do a recognition by tapping at the bottom of the score right before you hit the gray background. Just tap far away uh, from the notes and it'll recognize them. Once it's recognized them, go back and add your sharps and flats. You'll see what I mean when you mess around with the app. Um, so if you do that, man, you'll have way more success. I wish I would have watched that video at the beginning. I mean, I, I kind of feel like I shouldn't have to, though. I, with the handwriting recognition app, I really wish it just would have been intuitive, obvious, and just natural, you know. But no, okay, so I learned you got to do, you got to write an S if you want to have a quarter note rest, and you have to write a number seven if you want an eighth note rest. I still don't know how to do a 16th note rest, but uh, nobody ever plays those anyway. So yeah, you probably don't have to worry about that. Ha ha ha. Um, in the end, I would say this program, Staff Pad, is great for arrangers and composers. Um, it's so awesome to just, you know, write out the melody real quick and then throw some harmonies under there by hand, you know, just like as if you were using a piece of paper and then have Staff Pad play it back for you. and. It doesn't sound good, you know, you can change the voicings or whatever right in the app. It's really cool. You can select things, uh, move them up and down, you know, take take the second part down a minor third or whatever. Um, you can copy and paste, do all that fun stuff while you're sitting on the couch or whatever. It's really great. Where the program really sucks and it's severely limited is for copy work. Uh, which unfortunately for me is what I do a lot of. You know, if if you have a crappily handwritten chart like in the fifth edition real book that you want to get a nice clean copy of, staff pad takes forever. It took me 17 minutes to get um, that other chart done, inner urge, inside staff pad. 17 minutes versus eight minutes inside um, finale. So <sighs> finale is just twice as fast when it comes to copy work. And then the second bummer thing is that there are no layout tools for staff pad. That really sucks. So you're stuck with however staff pad lays it out. And sometimes it's pretty stupid. So um, eventually what you'll end up doing is writing, composing, arranging inside staff pad, and then you'll export it into a real solid, like established notation program like Finale, Sibelius, or Muse Score, or whatever because it's just it's just not a good there are no layout tools so it's severely limited but for everything else it seems pretty good um so yeah having said all that stuff you know can i recommend it to you i think yeah it's a mildly enthusiastic recommendation just be aware of those caveats that you're not going to be able to lay anything out or change rearrange the number of measures on a score on a on a staff line it just does whatever it wants in that regard uh, so if you're okay with that limitation, you might be pretty happy with this app. And all in all, it's pretty neat to just write on the page and have it recognize what you're doing. It, it feels like magic when it works really well. So I had a fun time using it, and if there's any more updates, I'll I'll provide another video. But I think I think I'm enjoying this app, and yeah, I'm okay mildly recommending it.